So that daughter, that baby here in the audience is my daughter, who was two weeks old when we bought her to her first Ignite back in February. At that intermission, up in the hallway, somebody came up to me and said, you're the Walmart guy, right? That's when my wife turned to me and said, you really need to do a Walmart, Walmart Ignite presentation. Raise your hands if this is what you think of when you think of Walmart. Let's admit it. There's not many people who, have, have, who want to admit they like Walmart. <laughs> it's kind of like if, if you like PCs. <laughs> She's on me up. OK, so back in September, we had our fantasy football draft. Jay Thompson and I were doing what men do best. We were drinking beer and trash talking. I challenged Jay to a bet. The loser had to spend 24 hours in Walmart. Well, I'm proud to admit my fantasy football team only lost two games all year, and I won the league championship. But I lost the Walmart bet. So <laughs> on Monday Night Football, I went into the last game of the, the week. I went into there with a lead, but Philip Rivers, who Jay had on his team, led his team to a victory, and I lost by one lousy point. So on September 17th, I woke up at 5.30. My punishment was to start at the Walmart in Gilbert at 6 a.m. I grabbed my video camera and my phone, because I planned on video taping it and uploading a lot of it to YouTube. Well, my first video was me getting in the car. The problem is I put the key in the ignition, I turned it, and I heard click, 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 click. So after I jump started my car, I went to Walmart, where I arrived a little bit late, around 6.30. The first thing I did when I got to Walmart is I took a walk around the outside, the, the outside aisles. I was amazed. These super Walmarts are huge. You could walk around forever in these things and feel like you're going to get lost. So <laughs> the more time I spent in there, the more I realized this is going to be easy. There's plenty to do. But as time went on, like maybe an hour later, it started feeling more like this. It's amazing how quick these four walls and the 4,096 fluorescent lights in the ceiling, yes, I counted them, could close in on you. <laughs> Friends started tweeting about what I was doing there, and quickly it gained steam. People started making requests for me to find things, so I acted as a personal shopper. <laughs> it, it was fun, it was entertaining, and I would take a quick video of what they were looking for, and I'd upload it to YouTube. I think that Walmart and other stores like that are missing a huge opportunity here. In my time there, there were hundreds of tweets and hundreds of messages on my Facebook page, people asking me to find things for them at Walmart. <laughs> to give you an example, say you had a 27-year-old female friend who was having a birthday and you wanted to spend $20 on her. Well, I may recommend an Audrey Hepburn collection, a bottle of wine, and a box of Kleenex. The person who requested that actually came in. But the funniest thing that somebody asked me to find for them was a guy came in with a shopping list looking for 44 caliber bullets for his wife at Walmart. <laughs> I just couldn't understand that one. <laughs> so there were, there's some problems with being at Walmart all day. First of all, my phone was dying quickly because I was uploading videos all the time. The other thing was eating. No matter what Jay Thompson says about good living through fast food, it just ain't so. I ate at McDonald's all day, and I felt like crap at the end of the day. Another thing I learned about Walmart is it's hard to get kicked out. Some friends of mine visited me. <laughs> we sat watching movies, eating, eating snacks, and buying drinks. So this happened late at night. Then a friend of mine, Chuck Reynolds, he dared me to ride around a bike. So I found this girl's bike, a little pink one. I took a ride around Walmart, popped the wheelie. And if that and watching movies all night doesn't get you thrown out of Walmart, I don't know what will. <laughs> so Homeland Security Chief Janet Napolitano said, and I quote, if you see any suspicious behavior or activity at Walmart, report it to a Walmart a manager immediately. Now this came out six weeks after I was in there. I'm not saying I am the reason. <laughs> but if we're relying on hope, Homeland Security from Walmart, we're in trouble. 23 and a half hours. That's how long I spent in Walmart before an employee or anyone approached me and asked me any questions. 23 and a half hours. <laughs> and what did they ask me? An employee came up to me and said, you've been here a while, do you work here? <laughs> well, I, my time there, I got a, a whole new respect for Walmart, I must admit. I'm now a proud Walmart shopper. I do go there often. 
and I got a great affection for them now. And that's how I became the Walmart guy.